Hi everyone, welcome back. So for today, I'm going to be showing you how to make these headbands. Um, I've usually done this for a long time for my daughter. I find it really affordable. You can find a kit like this in different stores and this is the materials you're going to be using for this. So I bought this kit in Etsy um, in one of the stores. It's, it's called a Pretty in Pink Supply and I've been buying from them for a long time. I love these kits because um, you could just mix and match and just do whatever it is you want to do. As you can see you have a lot of options here. So now um, you just want to go ahead and measure your babies. Head is really important. You have the correct measurement so the headband fits perfectly. After that I'm just going to go ahead and work with this felt backings. Um, I usually what I do, as like I'm showing you here, is that I put some hot glue and um, basically stick them together so I could put my flowers on top. So before gluing the flowers, I do recommend you guys do like a rough sketch or just place the flowers how would you like them to look. I recommend you do this first because you first want to see how it's going to look, all the flowers are going to look together. Like I said, you don't have to use as much flowers as I do. I just like making my headbands really big. Alright, so after I've done that, I just rapidly go ahead and after I've cut my headband into my baby's size, um, I just glue the edges um, into this felt backing. Um, this is obviously something you could do and after I'm going to show you something else you could do because these felt backings actually come with a tape. So after we've done that and the elastic is secure in those felt backings, I'm just going to go ahead and just place my flowers again just to make sure it's all going to look good once it's all glued. So right here I'm just showing you um, that the back of the flowers already have a circle so you really don't have to apply one of those circles to your flowers. I just directly put some glue and stick them into my felt circles. So as you can see, it's really easy. Um, you just basically um, just put the flowers, stick the flowers um, in the pattern you like, and you can just mix match and add different colors. After we've done this, um, I really like to go ahead and just kind of disguise that um, area right there and I just like to apply just you can apply two felt to, felt circles but I decided to go with this big one I already had and I just really like to hide um, this area just so it doesn't show um, obviously you don't have to do this you can leave it as it is um, because anyways um, it's gonna show but I just really like securing the headband so it doesn't um, unglue itself so as you can see, it's really easy and it just looks beautiful. So now here I'm going to work with another headband. Um, I just really want you guys to see that it's really, really easy and you don't have to use as much flowers as I do. As always, you know, I always like to just see how I want my headband to look and the different flowers I want to use. Um, but it's super easy. You're just basically going to do like a sketch of how you want things to look. After that, um, this is the other option you have. These felt circles actually have tape, so you really don't have to use um, the actual glue to stick it on there. Um, but like I said, I like to secure my flowers and I like to use my glue gun. So now, basically, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to apply some glue and then apply um, the elastic and um, it's really easy. Right here, I'm showing you already glued the flower and I'm also showing you another option if you don't want to add a, a felt circle obviously because it's gonna show especially if the flower is tiny you just apply hot glue directly into the elastic and just glue your flowers so you have different options to work with
Alright, so with this little DIY project is complete, I really enjoy buying these kits and making the hips bands myself. This is actually really special because she's going to be using some of these for Thanksgiving. So yes, if you really enjoy this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And like always, I hope to see you soon. Bye!